Romans 6 23 says the wages of sin is death but the gift of God is eternal life in Christ Jesus our Lord I want to talk about what happened on that day that we sometimes call Easter but correctly uh, about the resurrection of Jesus because people put up all sorts of ideas of what happened to it did somebody steal the body is one of the ideas but 16 professional Roman soldiers are placed outside the tomb. The tomb is sealed with wax and so on. So if anybody broke in, uh, that would be obvious. Had the body been removed, they would have all been executed, every one of them. That was uh, an incentive to keep each other awake. Now, it's interesting in Matthew 28, the Jewish elders bribed the soldiers to say they fell asleep. And that the body had been stolen by the disciples but by admitting to that all 16 of them could have been put to death there's no record that they were or not but that was customary why did they remove the grave clothes that had been wrapped around this body and i also want to raise the question they would have been deliberate deceivers had they hidden the body and said well of course he, resur he resurrected he's alive now it was contrary to the moral character they had shown both before and after. Now, people may die for something they truly believe in, but it would be very strange to die for something you know to be a lie. So there's no evidence the body was stolen. Did God dissolve Jesus' body? Well, the Jehovah's Witnesses claim this, but they get so much wrong they can't be taken seriously as a religious organization to be followed. In Matthew 24, it describes Jesus returning with his body physically, and it's confirmed through other scriptures. They will look upon me whom they pierced, it says in Zechariah. If Jesus is returning in his own body, then God did not dissolve it. What if Jesus just didn't really die, or just maybe he fainted? Well, firstly, Pilate would never have consented to a burial until he confirmed that the death had occurred. And Roman soldiers were very good at their jobs, including knowing how to crucify people. After all, they had plenty of practice. They didn't make mistakes. And when the body was taken down and wrapped in it, the, the spices that were wrapped in the, in the linen were very poisonous. And we're asked to believe that in this feeble state, having been beaten to within an inch of his death if he hadn't died, losing huge amounts of blood, having been buried without food or water for three days, that Jesus somehow gets out of his grave clothes without altering them, the shape of them, moves this huge stone on his own and escapes the alert Roman guards. I don't think credibility can attach itself to that idea. All this would have required significant medical treatment as well as food, water and rest. And afterwards, Jesus is alleged to have given his skeptical disciples the impression that he's victorious over death and the grave. No, he didn't escape from the tomb. Would Jesus, who taught about truth, have deliberately and fraudulently passed himself off as risen from the dead if it were not so? Was it an illusion? Some people say he might have been hypnotized or something, that he hypnotized the people rather. But the people who knew him best, who had lived and traveled with him for the past three or so years, took plenty of time to be convinced. But once they were convinced, nothing could stop them proclaiming what they had seen with their own eyes and what they knew in their hearts. Jesus was raised from the dead, all right, because every one of those, with one exception, only John survived to old age, every one of the others of the disciples of Jesus lost their lives because they followed him. As it says, Paul writing to the uh, Corinthians, 1 Corinthians 15, for since death came through a man, the resurrection of the dead also comes through a man. For as in Adam all die, so all in Christ or Messiah will be made alive. Let me give you some facts that prove what really happened. Firstly, there's an empty tomb. Secondly, there is the angel's testimony. He is risen. 
People spoke with Jesus. He was seen by many. I think in one testimony, 500 people at once. He ate food. A spook can't do that. He has to have a resurrected body. There was Stephen's testimony of seeing him seated at the right hand of the Father. And then lastly, there's Paul's testimony, having met him on the road to Damascus and totally changed his life. So how was Jesus raised from the dead? Well, in Acts 3, the disciples said, you killed the author of life, but God raised him from the dead. And we are witnesses of this. And in Acts 2, but God raised him from the dead, freeing him from the agony of death because it was impossible for death to keep its hold on him. So what are the results of the resurrection? The resurrection proves the existence of God. For the doubters, people don't normally return from the dead. Secondly, the resurrection proves the deity of Jesus. Jesus was declared with power to be the Son of God by his resurrection from the dead, wrote Paul to the Romans. Salvation was completed when Jesus died on the cross and rose from the dead because he paid what we couldn't. And God's judge justice was served by that act. So salvation is now available to every person who calls on the name of Jesus Christ. As it says in Romans 10, 9, if you confess with your mouth that Jesus is Lord, it means you're making him boss of your life and you believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, his resurrection is essential, then you will be saved. So what are the results? The resurrection of Jesus guarantees that everyone will be raised from the dead as well. The righteous, those who are in Christ, to eternal life, and the unbelieving to face the judgment of God. Jesus said, I am the resurrection and the life. He who believes in me will live even though he dies. In other words, your physical body may die, but your spirit will remain alive. And when he calls... Your spirit, your soul, and your body will reconnect, and you will meet him. And whoever lives and believes in me, he said, will never die. Make sure you are one of those people.